Hey, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin, and today I want to answer the question I got from a customer about uh, what is the value of a clean coin. So first of all, I want to say that I'm going to use just kind of generalizations and rule of thumb here because there's no one fast and steady rule. Uh, the quick short answer is that the market will decide what the value of a clean coin is. And I'll tell you what that means in a minute, but first I want to give you a little bit of a historical perspective. So traditionally, uh, a coin would be worth about one grade less if it was deemed clean. Now, this is considering a coin to be clean, uh, just generally lightly cleaned. You know, it's the coin is maybe a little brighter than it should be. Maybe it has a few fine hairlines. This is not a coin that has been harshly cleaned, that is bright and just shining like a light bulb. It doesn't have any heavy scratches or heavy marks on it. Um, so, so when you're talking about a clean coin, if you're talking about a coin that just maybe was over dipped or lightly rubbed uh, with a handkerchief or something very mild, that is generally what we're talking about. When you talk about a coin that's been polished and is just out of control bright, that is just a whole other scale. And that coin is not going to be worth anywhere near as much as its actual details grade is. So when you send a coin into NGC or PCGS or Annex, lots of times they'll put a detail grade on it, which will basically mean this coin has enough detail that it would be called an AU, but it's been cleaned. And traditionally, someone would look at that coin and probably price it as an extra fine. Now, one of the ways that this is not going to be true is on a really expensive coin. So uh, if a coin is you know, a $1,000 coin in AU, uh, and then XF is maybe $500, it may drop well below the 500 because that's a huge spread from one grade to the next. So anytime you have a rare coin with a huge spread, it can really alter the value. Also, the harsher the cleaning, it's going to alter the value. Now, at the beginning of the video, I said that the marketplace will decide. And what that means basically is if you put a coin out for sale as a dealer and maybe you just mark it down one grade in price and it's in your showcase or your display case or what have you, for months on end, well, guess what? You need to knock it down another grade in price. And this happens a lot with, with cleaned coins. It's one of the reasons why you should avoid cleaned coins in general when you when you buy as a customer, as a, as a collector. Um, you also may find that a cleaned coin is the coin that you're going to buy because you're buying that rare coin. Right, so if you have a coin that's normally a thousand dollar coin, and maybe you can get it for two fifty because it's been cleaned, and that is in your budget, that's a, one of the ways that you end up with with cleaned coins in your collection. Um, but generally, generally speaking, there is no fast and hard way to look at cleaned coins and say it's definitely was this much and now it's that much. Uh, it depends just a lot on how harshly the coin's been cleaned. And then what the customer or dealer and, and uh, collector, what they look at the coin as, and they agree upon a price on. So I actually have had hold coins, coins with an actual hole drilled through it, that turned out to be worth more than I thought they were. Um, you know, I one time paid $400 for a coin with a hole in it and just didn't have any idea what I'd be able to sell it for. I was really concerned, but it ended up selling for double what I paid for it, which was great, but I, I could have put that coin out and nobody wanted it at the price I paid. You know, I just didn't know. And so this is that same realm you're talking about with the clean coins and the question that the customer has is, how do you know? And the answer is, well, you don't really know what the value is necessarily. But if it's a rare coin, there's a good chance it still has value. If it's a common coin, there's a pretty good chance it's just worth whatever its metal content is. You know, if it's a Morgan silver dollar, maybe it's worth 12 bucks instead of 25 or 30 or what have you. So anyway, I hope that helps you uh, to know a little bit more about clean coins. Uh, it's something that uh, it's, it's hard to really nail down a specific value on. And uh, it's up to the consumer in the marketplace to kind of decide what a clean coin is going to be worth. If you don't like the coin, don't buy the coin. That's just a rule of thumb. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. Thanks for watching. You can subscribe to me here on YouTube by clicking up on the button. And you can also follow me on Instagram at TheCoinGeek, and you can find coins for sale at oldpueblocoin.com. Thanks for watching.